The stuffed peppers are delicious and easy to make at home. The simple recipe is easy to make using some basic pantry ingredients. I'm Chef Oenaina, let's do this. For the recipe, I'm using these beautiful tricolor peppers, red, yellow, orange. First, start by prepping the peppers. Two ways that you can do it, cut the top off or just cut them halfway across. I'm going to opt to cut them halfway first. Take off some of this tape. And then we need this to hold the paper together. So just cut carefully and getting some of the stem. And then using a small knife, just cut the pith off the seeds. And then you end up with something like that. So I'll do the other one and then I'll do the rest of the peppers. So there you go. So three peppers, each cut in half, will be enough for our recipe. Lay the peppers on this baking pan and then we are going to blanch them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so until they just slightly soften. If some of the peppers won't sit straight, just cut a tiny bit at the bottom and that will help it just to sit straight. So just season this with just a touch of salt, just very tiny. Remember the filling will be seasoned. Some black pepper, just a touch oil, very little. And this will go into a preheating oven that is set at 375. Now into this preheating pan, add vegetable oil, about a tablespoon, diced onions, start making the stuffing. Salt, black pepper, cook the onions until they start browning. The onions are starting to caramelize, add one tablespoon chopped garlic, tablespoon ginger. Stir and continue cooking. Add half teaspoon cumin, teaspoon coriander, a teaspoon Italian seasoning or any mixed herbs, a pinch of red pepper flakes. Bring this all together. Let the spices bloom and release their fragrance. Into the pan, add the ground beef. I'm using chuck, which is 80%. You can use the leaner ground. Switch to a spoon and break this into the onions and the spices. And let the beef just to slightly brown. At this stage, you can use ground chicken. I'm gonna bring the heat all the way up. Once the beef starts to acquire some color, add the rest of the ingredients. Carrots, diced very small. Some of the peppers, diced. Some tomato sauce or puree. Season with more salt. Black pepper. Stir and cook this until the beef is cooked through and all the vegetables are softened. We also look to reduce some of the liquids in the pot. Lay it on. This stuffing is absolutely looking so good. Beautiful colors. Give a taste to see where the seasoning is and the vegetables if they are cooked. Mm. So I'm going to cook it for about five minutes with the lid off just to dry off some of the extra moisture. But we also want to be careful, we don't want to dry it too much. 
I can also add some of the cilantro here, scallions. They enhance the onion flavor. Into the pot, add about two cups cooked rice. This is per cooked about 80%. Check on my channel how I do this on my video on how to do biryani. This is Monterey jack cheese grated. Add about a quarter cup, just a tiny, just to tie the dish all together. Finish with the rest of the cilantro, scallions, and leave some for garnishing and topping. And then just so carefully bring all these together. You can skip the cheese if you so wish, but it makes the dish just so delicious and added some element of richness. This is comfort food. I'll actually add some more rice, two more cups, and we'll save the extra stuffing for future use. This will make a delicious burrito too. Maybe I should save this and do that. So we baked these peppers slightly in the oven. They are just so pliable, just a little bit. And as you can see, they've accumulated some juice or some water in there. We're just going to drain this off. Don't want any excess moisture. So now take one pepper, some of the stuffing and fill, just press in, not so much. You wanna be careful not to break the rice. Fill it that much. Just put it back. And then one more pepper. They are definitely not of the same size. So some of these beautiful and deliciously smelling stuffing. Keep it. This makes perfect weeknight dinners. There you go. I'll continue filling the rest. Filling the last one here. Now, using some of the extra cheese, just top with a touch. If you have breadcrumbs, you can use it too. Finish this with some grated palm cheese. How come the stars come to shine there you go. when it's dark? These peppers will head into a 375 Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? Just have a look at these beautiful peppers all done. Garnish them with some of these extra scallions and the cilantro. This is perfect served family style. Some green salad that makes a perfect centerpiece for your dinners. Just cut into this pepper, nice crusty on top from the cheese. Get some of this. Mm. So friends, so there you have it, our simple and delicious uh, stuffed peppers, a dish that you can do on any day of the week. Serve it with a side salad just like this and your family will definitely enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this one. If it was your first time to my channel, please subscribe, give me a like down below, leave me a comment, and I will see you 